after 18 months of living in Bangkok, this is the journey back home. What is up you guys, Ron here and welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I'm sorry that I've been away for so long but as you saw, a lot of things has happened the past couple of months. And yes, I am shooting in my new home but today's video isn't about my home studio setup. Today, we are going to explore how to capture the widest, most immersive view on your GoPro. And to do that, we are going to look at various topics such as aspect ratio, digital lens, and so much more. The video chapters are in the description, so make sure you stay to the end to check it out. Number one, aspect ratio. What is it and why does it matter? The aspect ratio of an image refers to the proportional relationship between its width and its height. In other words, how wide or how tall the image will be. Aspect ratio are typically expressed in numbers. The first being its width and the second its height. In this instance, your GoPro camera has two main aspect ratios that you need to know. 16 by 9 which is reflected at the bottom of the settings menu and 4 by 3 which is reflected above. Now, let's look at some side-by-side -side examples. I've got my duo camera set up, <laughs> one in 16x9 and the other in 4x3. So let's see how this goes. is commonly known as the widescreen format since it is wider than it is tall. This makes it more ideal if you are intending to play back your footage on a widescreen TV or mediums such as YouTube which is optimal for wide format viewing because if you are intending to play back a 4x3 format video on a widescreen TV, you will typically see the black bars that appear on the side. On the other hand, 4x3 aspect ratio captures a more squarish format, utilizing the GoPro's full sensor. While it is more squarish, the feel of view as compared to 16x9 is the same. The only difference, 4x3 captures more top and more bottom, revealing a more immersive point of view, making it perfect for social media platforms such as Instagram. And that is why 4x3 is my go-to aspect ratio to capture it. <laughs> now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Ron, but if my project is in 16x9, does that mean I have to crop or reframe all my 4x3 footage to remove these black bars that are on the side? Well, the short answer is yes, you would have to crop or reframe all the 4x3 footage. However, with a taller image captured, you will have the flexibility to adjust and frame up as you desire. Like this. That's it. To get the best of both worlds, use the Superview digital lens. Superview captures in the 4x3 aspect ratio and delivers it in the 16x9 format, giving you an immersive, wide-angle perspective. What more? Superview is now supported up to 5.3K resolution. Boom. Check this out. Money
pro tip now if you want to capture the widest most immersive perspective out there use the gopro max lens mod well with the gopro max lens mod not only will you be able to capture this 155 degrees wide angle you will as well have 360 horizon lock how cool is that Money Now, how about that? And that's how to get the widest, most immersive point of view on your GoPro. As always, let me know in the comment section what do you think? What is your go-to aspect ratio and lens to shoot in? Until then, stay safe and I will see you in the next upload. Bye! <laughs> GoPro, stop recording!